Welcome back in. Great to have you along on WKYT News. It affects an estimated 2.7 million Americans. We're talking about atrial fibrillation or AFib. To learn more about the symptoms and how it can be prevented, we're joined by Dr. Ted Wright with UK Healthcare. And we do thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you. Dr. Wright, uh, what is AFib? Yeah, atrial fibrillation is an irregular heartbeat. Um, that is um, something we all need to know about. Um, it can be an important cause of stroke and other heart related complications. So what, what causes it in sure, the first place? Sure. Um, there's a, a, an abnormality in the electrical system of the heart. Sometimes there's also scarring in the heart muscle, whether it's from coronary disease or from valvular disease, um, and, those, and, and long-standing hypertension, and those things can lead to the triggers that cause atrial fibrillation. And the consequences are then what? That they... Sure, sure. For an individual who has atrial fibrillation, you may feel uh, uh, palpitations, mm -hmm. you may feel short of breath, you may feel fatigue. Um, unfortunately, some folks don't feel any symptoms at all, and their first symptom is a stroke. The first symptom. Now, yeah. that's very frightening if that's, that's the first time you would know anything about it. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. But what about, you know, when you talk about palp palpitations? Yeah. Maybe I can talk today, right, right, right. I guess. Um, when you have a lot of caffeine, you know, oh, things yeah. like that Absolutely. that can cause that as well. How do you know that it's serious or it's not just the fact uh, that good, you had one too many cups of coffee? Yeah, good question. You know, I have patients who talk about their triggers of their atrial fibrillation, mm -hmm. sometimes caffeine, sometimes chocolate. <laughs> and yeah. the, the key, though, is to be in touch with your physician. And if you have these symptoms, see them and have them do an EKG and evaluate you. And I guess what Barbara's saying, are, are there, you know, innocent symptoms like that through the caffeine that really is not AFib, but yet it could be confused as that. Yeah, sure, your heart rate can certainly rise with caffeine. Uh -huh. um, and it's, it's just like you can with any activity. But I think uh, really the only way to know is to be monitored, have an EKG, you have a halter monitor to follow your rhythm over the course of 24 or 48 hours so that you can uh, evaluate what your rhythm is. Is it just a fast rhythm or is it atrial fibrillation? So if you really pay attention to your doctor, you really do all the things you're supposed to, can you make a difference then with this? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like we talked about the scar tissue and the heart muscle that can cause atrial fibrillation. That's usually in folks who, who don't control the blood pressure, people have diabetes. Mm -hmm. um, as the population gets older, people have other comorbidities that need to be addressed and dealt with at the primary care doc. But we, we know we can predict who's going to have this problem mm -hmm. to some extent. Uh, the American Heart Association uh, provides some resources yes, and information. Yes, they have an excellent yeah. uh, web so uh, website. Uh, it's called uh, myheart.afib or slash mm -hmm. afib. I took a, look, took a look at it this morning. Uh, it's, it's actually an excellent resource for folks. All right. Well, thank you so much thank for coming by. We appreciate it very much and uh, very good information to have. All right. Thank you.